This podcast is brought to you by PodPro Australia. What is sponsorship marketing, you ask? If you don't know the answer, this episode is for you. Social media, Google, email marketing, systems, website traffic, and the endless content creation that comes with marketing. It's overwhelming, right? Say goodbye to endless stress and hello to clarity with the Meaningful Marketing Podcast. In this podcast, I will share with you fast and free practical methods to help you manage, monetize, and market your business, all infused with a healthy dose of motivation. Let's do this. Welcome to another episode of the Meaningful Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Chantelle Girardi. In today's episode, I will be talking to you about how you can do sponsorship marketing. So what is sponsorship marketing? Recently, I've been working with quite a few clients that have been partnering with other companies that can provide financial support products or services in exchange for promotional opportunities. Today, I want to share with you how sponsorship marketing can work for your business, how sponsorships are valuable, how to find and market to potential sponsors, and I'm even going to share with you some examples in how to do that. Sponsors often choose to sponsor based on a variety of motivations, including being ego-driven, to use it as a tax offset, or as a desire to contribute towards a cause. Ego-driven sponsors seek visibility and recognition, wanting their brand to be predominantly featured to enhance their reputation. Sponsors motivated by tax offsets are looking for opportunities that provide financial benefits through deductions. Those driven by contribution aim to support initiatives that align with their values and their missions. To effectively attract these sponsors, Your marketing and your content should be tailored to address these drivers. You need to highlight the visibility and prestige they will gain, clearly outline the potential financial benefits, and emphasize how their sponsorship will make a meaningful impact. By aligning your messaging with their motivations, you increase the likelihood of securing their support. So why do businesses need sponsors? Number one, financial support. Sponsorships provide necessary funds to support events, projects, or initiatives. Number two is increased visibility. Partnering with well-known brands can enhance your visibility and credibility. Number three is access to resources. Sponsors can offer resources such as products, services, or expertise that you may not have. Number four, networking opportunities. Building relationships with sponsors can lead to further business opportunities and collaborations. So what is the sponsorship marketing process? Well, as always, number one is having a strategy. Determine what type of support you need. Is it financial? Is it product-based? Is it services? Number two is researching your potential sponsors. You want to look for companies that align with your business values and your targeted audience. Number three is you want to create a sponsorship proposal. You develop a compelling proposal that outlines the benefits for the sponsor. Number four is reach out. Contact potential sponsors with personalized messages and follow up diligently. Number five is using a sense of urgency. Include an end date for sense of urgency and so they prioritize giving you an answer. Use follow-up SMS to direct them to their emails to reply. A line in the sand email or an SMS can prevent you from wasting time with time wasters and can get busy non-replies to reply. Number six is negotiate terms. You may wish to discuss and agree on the terms of the sponsorship or make it easy for them to simply click a button and finalize the agreement and terms. Number seven, and this is a very neglected area, make sure that you maintain the relationship. So keep the sponsors updated on progress and deliverables. Follow through on any outcomes you agreed on with the sponsorship. Be sure to correctly tag and promote your sponsors, respecting their brand and their contribution. So how do you find these sponsors? Well, firstly, research potential sponsors. You want to use industry directories. You want to attend industry events and conferences to meet potential sponsors through networking. And of course, social media. Use platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook and other platforms to identify and connect with suitable companies. Let's look at some lead generation strategies. In LinkedIn, you can use advanced search filters to find decision makers in targeted companies. 
Use DM strategy, clearly outlining the opportunity and benefits for them. Number two, use Facebook to follow and engage with brands that align with your values. Number three, Facebook groups. Join industry groups and participate in discussions to identify potential sponsors. Ask to be connected to the relevant sponsors you're looking for or ask interested parties to private message you should they wish to be interested. Number four is content. Use engaging lives, reels, stories, images, posts, and carousels to show your brand's values and commitment to make other brands want to get involved. Email campaigns. Create targeted email campaigns to attract potential sponsors. Now, in my experience, this is often a neglected area. Many times people will send out general fluffy cookie cutter emails rather than sending out specific targeted emails to potential sponsors. The content that you create and put inside these email campaigns it is absolutely imperative in order to get them to make a decision. Webinars and online events. You can host webinars and invite potential sponsors to participate. So how do you craft your sponsorship proposal? Well, number one, briefly introduce your business and the purpose of the sponsorship. Number two, describe your audience and how it aligns with your sponsor's target market. Number three, Outline the benefits for the sponsor. Remember, sponsors often choose to sponsor based on a variety of motivations, which include ego, tax offset, and a desire to contribute to a cause. Be sure to provide convincers for these three motivations. So how you talk to somebody who's driven by ego versus somebody who's driven by the tax offset or by someone who is purpose-led and driven by the desire to contribute your language and your convinces is going to be completely different. Number four, offer different levels of sponsorship with varying benefits, include limited or VIP offers. Last but not least, include a clear next step on how they can get involved. Remember, confused mind buys nothing. So how do we persuade sponsorships? So for ego-driven business owners, we want to highlight the visibility and the prestige. So for example, you might say something like, Partnering with us as a sponsor will place your brand front and center in front of a highly engaged and influential audience. For companies that are driven by tax offset, you want to emphasize the financial benefits and the deductions. So you may say something like, sponsoring our event not only supports a worthwhile cause, but also offers significant financial benefits for your company. Last but not least, the purpose-led businesses, you want to ensure that you align with their values and their impact. So you might say something like, We know that your company is dedicated to making a positive impact and supporting initiatives that align with your values. By sponsoring our event, you'll be directly contributing to a cause that resonates with your mission. When including convincers for your marketing in order to attract more sponsorships, include why they should sponsor you. Mention your audience reach and engagement. Share success stories and testimonials. Offer exclusive benefits or opportunities that make your sponsorship unique. Detail the media coverage and publicity your event or project will receive. Provide a clear breakdown of the return on investment for the sponsor. Have customized sponsorship packages that are tailored with your sponsor's goals and budget. Emphasize how the sponsorship aligns with the sponsor's initiatives. Suggest the ongoing potential for partnerships. Explain the impact and significance of your event or project, demonstrating how the sponsor's support will contribute to meaningful outcomes. Highlight the opportunities for direct engagement with your audience, such as speaking slots, panel participation, or interactive sessions. Active involvement can enhance the sponsor's experience and value perception. When creating a brochure to hand out to potential sponsors, include a brief introduction to your business the information about the event or the project and its significance. Describe your audience and their demographic. Include the details of different sponsorship packages. List all the benefits for the sponsor. Include testimonials and quotes from past sponsors. And last but not least, make sure to include instructions on how they can become a sponsor. If you have enjoyed today's episode, be sure to like, comment, and rate us. This is Chantel Girardi from the Meaningful Marketing Podcast. Thanks for listening in. Meaningful Marketing is all about you making your marketing meaningful. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please hit that subscribe button. But subscribing means that you won't miss out on future episodes all about marketing and motivation. Stay inspired, stay focused, and make your marketing meaningful.